asking Ndibo to wait till 2027 for presidency is insulting. Prof. Dickey, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A prominent Igbo leader and senior advocate of Nigeria, son Prof. Francis Dickey, has described as condescending the recent statement credited to Chief Raymond Dokwasi urging the Igbos to stand down their beat for the twins to the free presidency of Nigeria until Atiko Labubaka must have ruled as president. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but if you have not, Atiku, not he, Chief Raymond Dokwasi, who is, is, is like is the chief campaigner or the chief um, administrator for Atiku's um, um, presidential campaign bid, he came out and I think it was in Abia State that he told um, the, the, the people of Abia that um, they should actually, you know, hold on and allow Atiku that it is only one tenor. In fact, the thing is, it was not making sense. I was like, ah, 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 ah. Hey, people are crying marginalization. You not only want to, you know, rub them off, you still went to their place. Ah. You went to their place to tell them this in their land. Oh, you get mind though. You have conscience. Your mind strong. Oh, I was not like, ah, ah. When I heard it, I was like, no, no. No. It, there will be places where you enter and say these things. Oh, my. They go push you, come out too. They go carry a, what do they call it? They go carry anything with a C, push you, come out. Yes. So at the, at the, at the end of the day, I keep asking myself, what is waiting there for this presidency? Where did they go wrong? Come if not to serve, ah, ah, this thing we go look at more. I've said it before, it is high time we remove all extra juices in this presidency the presidency immunity, the, 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 the present some advantages and benefits. So that when people are coming out for to run for the presidency, we'll actually know okay, this person is actually coming to serve. Because I don't even understand why people be swarming the law around this particular presidency like bid when it is obvious that they're not supposed to. That they're not supposed to. Let's find out more about this, the news in detail. DK, who said that they have never been a president of Fibu Extraction, explained that at the dawn of a Nigerian's independent, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe was just a ceremonial, ceremonial head at the time. And most Nigerians knew that. He noted that every other region in Nigeria has at one point or the other occupied the office of a president. But that in spite of the enormous contribution of the Igbo nation to the development, stability and progress of Nigeria, it is yet to be given the chance to occupy the coveted office. So, so for anybody to tell the Igbo nation to jettison their bid, for the presidency of the country, saying that he will hand over parts of them after four years is insulting. If you don't mind. That does not smack entitlement or a basic right, but it sounds more like a favor or concession. The point is that Igbo has the right to bid for the highest office in the land, and they don't need anybody to tell them when and when to not to run for the country's presidency, DK said. He continued, Igbo's voted massively for Atiku Abubakar the last time, but times have changed as people have had to move on. The presidency of Nigeria is not a matter of personal interest, but of national interest. He cuts across more or less as someone asking us to assuage him with the presidency. But then, what can he do that he believes that a president of Southeast extraction cannot do? So for me, the statement from Dupesi is very condensed, condescending to the Igbo nation, he said. Well, well, let me say this. I think I want to repeat this particular line now. The presidency of Nigeria is not a matter of personal interest. So it's not when somebody will come and say, eh, it has been my lifelong ambition. And you know, Atiku has been showing him as in he has not hidden his will or he's wanting to be the president for a long time. Uh-uh, it's been long. Since he stepped down from becoming the vice president, he has ever been in politics. Anytime they will come off election, he will always come out. Ah, come on now. Nigerian is not a personal property. And when picking pe 
picking people who are going to represent it as national level or state level or local government level or speaker speaker in the house of and representatives or counselors or what have you it is high time we tell ourselves we we'll pick someone who wants the national interest of nigeria not a personal interest when you were picking pick based on national interest because i've said it before imagine that only you are you alone you get something from the powerhouse you vote your favorite candidate he in terms gives you contract do you know that you are not still going to be fine why because every one of your family members would depend on you you don't know how draining it can be it is better that all my family members are doing fine than just one person. You can now focus on your own. If you now want to decide, okay, you want to do this for yourself, no problem. Not the one that you are going to be, be the one doing everything. Sister here, uncle here, auntie here, mommy here, oh, school fees, oh, house rent. Only you everywhere. Uncle, you said you'd be frustrated. Why not pick a candidate that is going to build Nigeria? So that everyone can thrive. So that everyone can thrive. 2027 in Posecant is 2020, 2039. Definitely you are talking about PDP. But here, APC Southwest is coming after that north. After then the south. If you play your side of the game well, that is 2039. Hmm. Okay. Dogbasi avoiding EFCC. You cannot blame him for everything he's saying. Fulani Kabas called him and Dokubo to stand with them to avoid EFCC. Oh my God. All this narrative is past tense. The presidency is no more a coveted office for Igbo people. Actualization of Biafra is the current coveted office. All of you should join up in this struggle. There is the foundation of our being. People who, they don't care. Onyandu Ohamadike Nabdekanu is very prophetic and indeed is here. What has he said about Nigeria that has not come to pass? From now to 2023, presidential election, the doubting Thomas will see things and will definitely believe him. When you are associated with archaic, medieval, tribalistic, nepotistic, nonchalant, dangerous, troublesome, quarrelsome, greedy, inconsiderate people, you'll be wasting your precious time to persuade them to see reasons. They are products of the jihadist conquest and usurpations of power. It is said that whatever a snake begets must be long, sneaky and cunning. You should beware of the smiling welcome of a crocodile before you end up in its stomach. Um, this adage is very, very long. Ago. This adage is long. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.